Hey guys, you are tuned to the Ege Show. Your girl, your one and only. And um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful week. And uh, stay fit, stay healthy as well. As for me, I'm okay. And uh, if you have been following me on this channel and you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe for more entertaining videos like this. And if it is also your first time that you are tuned to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe for more entertaining videos like this. On this platform, we have a lot of educative stories, a lot of motivational stories, a lot of beautiful stuff to dish out for you. And uh, there will be no regrets. So, um, although I'm a fast talker, I'm trying to talk real slow on this video because I want each and every one of you to be able to understand what I'm going to be telling you guys today or teaching you guys today because this is a place to learn and also a place for fun. Also a place for fun. So, I'm going to be doing this video in Pigeon English. And uh, as you all know, for some of you out there that don't know, Pidgin English is spoken in, in some uh, parts in West Africa, in West African country. So um, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to speak Cameroonian Pidgin. And uh, for some reason, I love Cameroonian people. I mean, Cameroonian people are so loving people. They are nice people. They are happy people. And um, Pidgin English is one of those things that bring them together. And uh, I mean, when they see each other, they are, they are, I mean, you just want to hang around them. You just want to be around them. So I just love it. You might be wondering, how did she know about, about uh, Cameroonian pigeon? Don't worry about that. I have mingled with a lot of them and I have a lot of friends, um, a lot of Cameroonian friends. And um, I mean, so, um, and I choose to talk about this topic because I know that uh, we have a lot of, of people out there whose spouses are Cameroonians and they are like wondering how would they learn this language. So this is the, this is the right place for you where you can learn. So we are going to move forward. So this pigeon is going to be done in, this, uh, this video is going to be done in pigeon English. So get ready to learn. So, um, so let's say you are going to say, um, go get me some water. You ask somebody to go get you some water. It might be your daughter. It might be your... I mean, it can be anybody. Get me some water. So when you want to say it in, um, in Cameroonian Pigeon English, so you just like, uh, go give me Dimba. Give me, go give me Dimba. Go give me Dimba. Dimba means water. Water. So go give me Dimba. Dimba means water. So another thing is that um, that you you might want to learn, and then I mean, is how to how to like uh, let's say uh, today is today, today is today, today is today. In in Cameroonian pidgin, it means today not today. It actually means like today not today. Let's say there is a po there might be a problem that um, maybe you have problem with somebody. And uh, I mean, you are just trying to like let that person know that you are really mad at that person. You say today, not today, we go see who be who. Today, not today, we go see who be who. So uh, basically, it's just that. So um, today, not today, it means today. Uh, today, not today means today is today. So and then a lot of stuff that you want to uh, you want to learn about Cameroonian pigeon. Let's say um, you uh, you went to somebody's house and you know uh, there are kids on that home and you I mean you you got into that home and uh, none of the kids are, are at home and you're like oh, where are the kids where are the kids so you might just wanna say like this where are the kids where that picking them where that picking them they do say it's just like where are the kids so in English it means where are the kids then in the Cameroonian pigeon. Uh, it, it, it actually means uh, where they are picking them. The, or you can say where they are picking them, or you can also say who said they are picking them. They are picking me, um, children, kids. So picking means um, children. Or who said they are picking them, they. Or where they are picking them, no. Uh, you know, so uh, I want you to listen attentively because you really want to learn and you want to please your spouse, and I uh, mean your boyfriend or your girlfriend. I mean, this is something, I mean, when it comes to language, we all want to learn language because, and uh, I remember back then when I used to live in, in Europe, 
I used to feel a lot of challenges because I, I didn't really know how to speak Netherlands. So uh, until I started learning how to speak it, and after some time, I realized that I have um, a better communication with the people. And uh, I mean, life became good. So um, you might want to learn this thing because you never know where you might go one day. And let's say you might be, you might be in a social gathering and everybody is speaking pidgin English. And you are just left aside. So you might want to grab one or few words from what I'm teaching you today. So pidgin English is something that brings us together. So we love it, especially when we are, let's say we are doing barbecue, we're drinking, we're dancing. I mean, this is something that, um, that brings us together. Then another thing that, that might interest you, that you might want to learn, is you know how we say here in America, we like, what's up? What's up? What's up, dude? What's up, man? Stuff like that. So what's up in, the, in Cameroonian Pigeon means, um, uh, actually means, um, uh, what's up? Uh, how far no? It means how far no? You are telling that person how far no? So a lot of stuff, a lot of ways that you want to learn. So um, then another thing is, um, no, what they call it again? Um, uh, uh, we'll go. Uh, let's say you are going to work tomorrow. Ah, uh, we are going to work tomorrow. You telling your your wife or your. Or your or, or your husband that you guys are going to work tomorrow let's hurry up and go to bed so that we can have enough sleep so if you want to say it in Cameroonian pigeon just say um will they go below tomorrow no will they go will they go below tomorrow no like you are, you are telling your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your wife or your husband that you guys are going to work tomorrow so let's go to bed we're going to work tomorrow no we they go work tomorrow no in Cameroon Pigeon. In English is we are going to work tomorrow. So basically it's just it's just it's just pigeon. I mean we break it into pieces. I just for some reason I love pigeon and it, it pleases me and it makes me happy. You know how we love jollof rice? <laughs> you know how we Africans um love jollof rice? That's how I just love pigeon. So, uh, because, because this is something that brings us together, as I earlier said. Then another thing uh, that you want to um, that you want to learn is like, oh, I know you. I can remember. I can. I remember. I know you. I've met you somewhere before. I know you. Then you so, and you want to translate that in uh, Cameroonian pidgin. It's just like, oh, I know you know. I know you know. Stuff like that. It's just it's, it's just as easy as as that. So um, for some of you who are really willing and. and who are interested to learn how to speak um, Cameroon Pigeon. So that is the way. So uh, please keep following me on this on this um, on my YouTube channel uh, for more entertaining videos. And I love you guys. And um, I mean, more videos are gonna be popping up. And uh, on this platform, I try to entertain you guys as much as I can because I mean. Without you guys, I won't be here today. And uh, guys, I really want you to keep sharing this video so that you know, your friends also can benefit from me. They can also learn. So uh, subscribe and uh, share. Uh, follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. So uh, this is your girl, your one and only. I love you all. Bye-bye.